Hey everybody, how's it going? Yogurt here. Hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic day, night, afternoon, evening, whatever it happens to be for you, wherever you happen to be, and whenever you happen to be watching this, I just hope you're doing well and staying safe and healthy out there. Welcome to episode 38 of my Control Let's Play series. Picking up where we left off last time, although we are going to decide what mission we're going to do, if we're going to press on with the main or do a few sides, I think we might branch off a little, little bit because um, our side missions are stacking up, but we'll make that decision here in a minute when we get into the game, but otherwise picking up right where we left off. Um, if you don't know what's going on, you might want to catch up on previous episodes of Control, link down in the playlist and card popping up right about now, but otherwise, let's get going, shall we? Alright, as usual, we're at a control point. Not always, but yeah, as usual. Most of the time, missions. Oh, speaking of, we have more. Um, what's the new one? Charge. Executive, executive, executive. Okay, research major targets. I'm not going to get there in time. Finish Tango. Jesse goes to research sector to find dimensional research and the slide projector. Which would be our new quest. Langston's Runaways, put on a record, old friends, old growth, self-reflection, and a dark place. Uh, that must be the new one. Investigate the sector elevator. Where is that? Alright, well central executives where a lot of stuff is, so I think we're gonna go there. Even if we don't do that mission, we're gonna go there. That seems like the sensible thing to do to me anyway. Investigate the sector elevator. There's the jukebox. I don't think I have anything I need to say. Protocols for every altered item yeah. or object of power with an audio-related effect. I'll send a team oh, to contact Langston and get that information. Over here. Over here. Yes, why? What do ah. you tell him? Tell him that the hiss worked through sound. So Television proposal, huh? Sound. Always tells me L for collectibles and then takes me to my loadout. I usually remember this, but not this time. Alright, television show proposal. Based on the success of America Overnight, we would like to propose the creation of a television series that presents superstition and skeptical thought as entertainment in order to popularize these concepts among the civilian population and create less resistance to redirecting information regarding public paranatural events. We can also use a solid media outlet to test paranatural concepts on civilian audiences, seeing how they react to certain facts presented as fiction in the event that the Bureau ever decides to make certain realities public knowledge. There are various show licenses that we could purchase and reboot rather than starting from scratch. One particular property seemed promising, especially considering its content and tone are precisely what we're looking for. It's called Night Springs and has been off the air for a few years now. <laughs> as wacky as it sounds, it's not a terrible idea, I must admit. Um, I'm not going so far as to say good. But definitely not terrible. Ah, hello my old enemy, the former. I defeated you. Although well, it's not dead, that's unfortunate. Alright, so anyway, what mission do we want to do here? Um, I feel like we should do Langston's Runaways, because I'm hoping we might get something out of one of these. Like a power. Um... I'm not going to do put a record on for a while because those are more like, I'm trying to think of what to call them, separate missions on their own, um, like excursions, almost, um, and they're timed and such. Old friends, uh, I think that's going to take us to the formation as well. Um, maintenance, atlas chain, oh no, no, they're not, okay. Take that back. 
still not doing that one next. Because I want to do something that's going to get us something. That's not selfish, but. Um. So I'm going to do these first. I'll collect the bulls to get. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. Okay. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. Now. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April, case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. <laughs> An expedition team found them decomposing the at the formation ugliest. phase a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. Can't argue his point. New location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. All right, well... Yeah, so that'll be more applicable when we go to the formation later, but either way, it's just funny. Um, and what's this? Aiden rides the elevator. Okay, that will also be applicable later, and we'll watch it later. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We'll just, um... No, we're not going to do it now. We're going to do Langston's Runaways, like I was saying. Containment, containment, executive dead letters. See what this takes us to. I don't know where it's going to take us, but what it takes us into and what we're about to do. That's no normal piece of paper. Where? Um, okay. Tens and contain the moving letters. I don't see those moving letters. Big planes. Dear New York Tribune, airplanes aren't real. I figured out how they do it. The windows are TV screens. The whole thing moves on big tracks like a roller coaster that moves through underground tunnels in the earth. Airports are more like train stations. They do this because the sky is full of monsters that they don't want us to know about. The planes we see in the sky are the monsters. The government made the earth trains look like the monsters so they could lie to us better. Don't contact me. Well, yep, that one's a load of bollocks. I'm just gonna say that. You know, because I, I, I've gone skydiving, so I jumped out of the plane. And there were no monsters. Just the sky.
And that's gonna come back here, so... At least I think that's kind of the puzzle. I think it's gonna go in the same general pattern. Got it. I need to find the other pages. Alright. In theory, there shouldn't be that awful to find, because, you know... They're red and they're flying around. Cleaned up. Now where's the next letter? That's right, all my helpers expired. timing. It's as close as I get to grenades, but it's... it works. When it works, it works. Not the easiest thing to do. Okay. Where is the next letter? I swear I heard one flying around, I thought. It's in here. Yeah, I don't think so. Heard it flitting around. Where did I hear it flitting around? I thought I did. Okay, so I'm not where I'm supposed to be anymore anyway. So that will be part of it. Dead letters again. The other one I don't think was actually flying around until I initially took hold of it, but I could be wrong about that. Well, it was relatively obvious, I thought. Dead letters now. Shooting on my part. Do 
my bidding, minion. Smoking ban are you back in there? Yes, I know I need to know where it's going to be. I just need to deal with the people shooting at me. Okay, you cover my butt. Okay, so that's a spot it's going to land. So just stand here until it does. And let my minion take care of me. It's like you have to double seize it, it's weird. There should be one more page. I helped her died, so I want to okay, I see something up the stairs out of the corner of my eye, in the corner of the screen, whatever you want to call it. Can I get in? Yes, I can. Kitchen. I'll read that in a minute too. Again, try and gonna root group it all together and read it all together. Alright, well I'm glad I thought to levitate up here, and yeah, I couldn't have gotten this one without levitate for that matter. Thank you, Banikoff TV. Yeah, 22 deaths and lots of aggravation and editing. We're worth it to get you. And if you missed that, that was a few episodes ago, and I had to defeat Salvatore, Salvatore who we just heard t talking. He's dead now. Um, I killed him, because he was his possessed, of course. Not just, you know, murder or anything. Haven't done any actual, like, killing of humans that aren't his possessed in this game. That I know of, anyway. Not on purpose. And no accidents that I'm aware of. Alright. Where is this last letter? I don't know, oh, there's something right there. Cooler house memory. Okay, well I'm guessing it's going to be up there, since I'm getting shot at from up there. There really is no stealth in this game, I and mean, you can be sneaky to a point, but once you start shooting, there's no sneaking. You can't even shoot from ducking or anything, it's annoying. Okay, there's the letter. And I know it's being shot at by somebody, and I don't know where they are. Like to. Okay, we need to know where it's gonna end up. Okay, so here, there's a landing spot for you there. Okay. 
first one, got the second one, there we go. Yeah, you have to do the, the double C's thing to it. Get the first one all the way through and then do another one and get it. Alright, so that's all of them. Okay, and a bunch more stuff here. see out of the corner of my eye when I was peeking up here looking for the guy that was shooting at me that I never have found actually you know I mentioned it so there is a g an enemy up here somewhere or somewhere about that I haven't taken out yet but I did see that cool. all right and I think that's this entire area Explored now. That was really frustrating until I thought to come up here. Okay, really? Yeah, it was a good shot, but it's annoying. Okay, there's health everywhere. Let's see, I thought I had an enemy lurking about, not multiples. I think I just shot his rocket. Ah, yes. Seat. No. Ah. Barely dodged that grenade, but I did. my minion. You are coming around this way. Bye bye. High ground was not your friend for you know, every now and again having the high ground is not good. I think I shot my own guy once but doesn't seem to be holding a grudge. As I was saying, this area cleared. And there goes my poor minion. He died. Literally sounds like their brain fries, or, you know, actually sounds like it gets electrocuted. Alright, let's see what we got here before we move on. Not gonna go through all of those. New missions we've got. Where did it go? Um, there should be one. Oh, there we go. That one. Um, the Ordinary Town Motel. Alright, we'll probably do that one because I think we're going back to containment for the rest of these anyway. Yes, all in the containment somewhere. Alright, let's see what we've got collectible wise. Case files. Moving letters AI-77-KE, containment procedure, black rock par paneling, suppresses the item's effect. Descriptional altered effect, a stack of four envelopes, each containing a single page of paper. All four letters are Ill 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 illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes curiously do not show any sign of such damage and are covered in messages of love. The items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than redacted and always in a redacted direction. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts, a fact previously believed to be an impossibility by redacted. Proposal to take the item outside the oldest house and follow their movement to its final destination is under consideration with the budget committee. See file, but I'm not going to read it. Background item was found in the dead letter archives, where the head archivist found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. She reports having no record of the item in her archive of letters. Uh, that's interesting. Not shocking, just interesting. And we got a bunch of dead letters. <laughs> it should be. Here, this will be a funny way to end the episode. Here we go. 
My Glock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry but I keep apologizing and it won't stop. But I said I'm sorry, 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 but it won't leave me alone and I don't know what it wants. I can't keep apologizing. Fo do you see now it now too it told me everyone is here and I need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter. It wants me to put stay with it. My eyes on my eyes on its eyes and moving very fast, but I can't keep going and I worry they will forget about me, so I need to write you about this because I can't keep going, but the cat will because of its eyes redacted very lengthy redacted. Alright, um yeah, interesting. Uh must have been something to it since they redacted part of it. Our whereabouts, hey. You have questions and the prophets have your answers. If you are truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days, this is why the Vatican is a sundial and also simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing while I'm here, if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun plus moon are composed of plasma, simply light not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you, I, and humanity reside. Cheers. Huh. Interesting. Pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. Um... That's all it says except the redacted, so I wonder what that redacted bit says. Dear elected official, thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I am happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. Right. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. If you government traders can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. Alright, but the smoke kills us too. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. <laughs> this is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. I will smoke forever. Signed, a proud smoker rebel patriot. Interesting way to rebel. Anyway, uh, yeah. Smoking kills humans too, buddy. To the esteemed members of the American Psychi Psychiatric Council, I am writing you to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I am aware that there are many books purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have revelation, reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this, not, this is not usually done, but I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. Ever since I was young, I have had intensely vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small, empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent incident, I have decided to seek help. The doctor says I am physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yours very sincerely, Richard Boker. Interesting. White Kitchen, dear gentlemen of the Society of Sciences, it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it is not the case that you have mis dismissed my claims outright. In that hope, I am writing to you to once more ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. I have recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. I recently have begun experiencing a strange occurrence. When I'm in my kitchen, my tiny... A tiny little thing with not much but a sink, I sometimes lose myself. My surroundings change. I find myself standing on strange dark stone. I stare out at a colorless sky, as white as undisturbed snow, terrified of moving. Perhaps this is a brain issue? I think not, as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now, and I have become frightened of entering the kitchen. If it's not too much of an inconvenience, I would dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see why they what they make of it. I await your response with little expectation, but with great hope. Very truly yours, Lorraine Fitzgerald. Okay. Um. 
based on the the uni- reality of the universe in which we now are in the game, a lot of those might be legitimate things and not just crazy people, but who knows. Um, but yeah, that's a good place to wrap it, I think. A little, uh, a little shorter than usual, and that's not always bad. So yeah, thank you everybody. That was episode 38 of my Control Let's Play series. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do click like and subscribe. Helps me out a lot. And do click that bell icon that way you get notified anytime I post a new uh, episode of a Let's Play series. Six days a week, every day but Saturday. Or when anytime I go live, currently live streaming The Witcher 3, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Full stream in my about page. Links to both playlists down in the description. A card for Witcher should be popping up out now. But yeah, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed once again, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, night, afternoon, evening, whatever it happens to be for you, wherever you happen to be, and whenever you happen to be watching this. Take care, stay safe, and thank you so much. I will see you next time. Yogurt signing off.